Okay. It's been 10 years. It has. It has been 10 years. Um, but as I said in my little update video, sorry, I uh, had literally the worst experience of my life ever. So, you know, my dog died. Rip. Love you so much. Bitch. Like, that literally broke my heart. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, we have to carry on in these times. Um, and then other family issues, you know, we all know about my mum and then, you know, things, uh, we're here for gay, not depression, so let's go. Um, but I also got a kitten, which I felt guilty about because we, we didn't mean to get it, like, at the same time my dog died, it just happened that way and it was, but I am going to put a little slideshow in of my son. Just wake up, not gonna lie. You're a good boy. Good night. He's called Anakin. Star Wars, sorry, I like Star Wars, sorry. Okay, um so I haven't got too much to say, but we are going back in time, let's be fucking honest, because the last time I spoke to you was actually nine years ago. But it was ten years ago earlier, but I've actually regressed it to nine years, so deal with it. Uh, literally, like, the last thing that happened before leaving was the fucking Ivy on Dickinson thing. That's how long ago with I've been disappeared. English is my first language. Um, thank you for that. Basically, confirmation of a thing we needed, but I don't need to dwell on it because we all know that happened. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? But, like, we just love a bit of confirmation. And, you know, Taylor Swift playing after a lesbian sex scene is just... I smile and I smile. I also realised I didn't explain the all too well thing while I was talking about Jake when I literally was like, I'll do a little video on it and then I didn't. So, uh, but basically what I meant was is like the, um, the song was registered as being written first in 2010, October, October, I can't remember but I do have an image of it so but basically it was before her and Jake were together, but then like it was like written, it was like added to like after that. So maybe it was slightly, you know, um, inspired by that. But, you know, it was a very, it was basically started being written before they were together. So it didn't start with Jake, essentially. Um, and then also on the re-recorded version, um, like the dates were a bit off as well so like we do think that she wrote it recently basically confirmed because the dates were off again so but we knew that we knew that anyway do you know what I mean propaganda propaganda promotion promotion um also throwing it back NT if you buy into that shit um I don't really you know, but they like do blinds and it will be like, oh, celebrities are doing this. Is it true? Maybe. Who knows? But allegedly it was a while ago. Uh, they were saying that um, Taylor, maybe Taylor and Carly have started talking again. Who fucking knows? Do you know what I mean? Probably not. Who knows? Because I do not exist in these circles. The Valentine's Day merch. Love a BFF necklace. What the fuck are you talking about? Is this just really weird marketing? Or are you throwing something in my eye? Is it a coincidence? Probably. Do you know what I mean? But what do you mean, will you be my lover BFF? 
after you've been saying about being in love with your best friend for like 17 years. Okay. 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 Uh, what else fucking happened? Tom Hiddleston liked to tweet about like Taylor not writing songs about him or something. So then everyone was like, oh my god, see, get away, Carl, isn't my hand fucking usual. But then like, also maybe he just doesn't know that. Obviously, I'm just playing devil's advocate. I don't think songs are about him, but I'm just saying. Do you know what I mean? Maybe he doesn't know that Taylor wrote songs about him, even though Taylor is supposedly asks or says shit sometimes. I don't fucking know. But he seems to think otherwise. So, yeah, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Yeah. And most recently, Miss Bitch comes out of her fucking hibernation to be like, Zoe Kravitz, you're the sexiest bitch on earth. Is she wrong? No. Because I thought the same thing, the Batman, which I saw on Friday. <sighs> Trying not to be gay in front of your sister's boyfriend. Well, fiancé now. Update. Wow. And like, he knows I'm a lesbian, do you know what I mean? But like, it was just me and him. I can't be acting out. But Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you so much, Jesus Christ. Casting team. Um... But yeah, also the fact Taylor watched the Batman is like funny to me. I don't know why, it just like it makes me laugh that I don't know, I just find it funny. I don't know why, but it is funny. Um but that was really funny, the fact that like she just doesn't exist forever and then she comes back to talk about women. It's all she does. It's either gay rights or women. That's her only only two things. Or if someone pisses her off, she's obviously gonna defend herself. So it's three things. But that's also, you know, that one's allowed. I mean they're all allowed, I don't know what I'm talking about there. Um <sighs> But has anything else fucking happened? No, because she doesn't. It Bit, I forgot the fucking photos that came out where she's got a little fucking cropped jean moment with the socks and the shoes. Girl. We all saw those photos. And we all know. We all know. So, like, there really isn't anything to say, essentially. Is why it, it's partly why it also took me so long, because I was like, I can't hop on to just be like... Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know what to do in the meantime, because she's probably not going to do anything for another 97 weeks. Do you know what I mean? Um, obviously, once a new album comes out, I can do more shit then. But, like, if you have any ideas of what I can do, or, like, what you'd want to see, um, just let me know, because I don't know. Because she's not doing anything. She's really not helping me out. Um, but yeah. Just let me know. And I'm sorry for taking so long. But yes. <laughs>